Imagine you're on the streets of Manhattan on April 27, 2009. All of a sudden, Air Force One flies overhead lower to the ground than a plane should be, and an F-16 fighter jet is chasing it. Your first thought probably isn't, oh, Harrison Ford is making a sequel to his classic 1997 action film, Air Force One. No, it's probably more like, oh my god, New York's under attack and then you evacuate your building. Yeah, as it turns out, this actually happened. It was because the White House wanted to capture new souvenir photos of the president's airplane flying over the Statue of Liberty. The incident was blamed on miscommunication between the White House and New York City Hall, but regardless of who's at fault, let's throw this tiny little fact at you. It costs $50 per second to operate Air Force One. That's over $180,000 per hour. Now, technically, Air Force One isn't even a single plane. It's actually the radio call name for any plane carrying the President of the United States. For instance, when Gerald Ford was sworn in as President, the plane carrying Richard Nixon home was redesignated mid flight to SAM 27000 because there was no longer an acting President on board. But for the most part, we've come to understand Air Force One as one of two Boeing 747s the president frequently travels in. While presidents like Franklin Roosevelt and Harry Truman had official presidential air transport, it wasn't until John F. Kennedy who first requested a flying White House. First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy even oversaw its blue and white interior design. Now, the twin 707s that Kennedy commissioned served the office of the president until 1990, when the Air Force replaced them with a pair of 747-200Bs used today. Now, even though the New York flyover incident in 2009 was annoying, it's not the first time the aircraft has been used for public relations. Presidents often use the vehicle to impress other politicians. They even used to have official Air Force One playing cards and candy to give to visitors. But despite how much they like to show it off, many parts of the plane are off limits to visitors. For obvious reasons, the Air Force doesn't want to reveal too much about the craft's layout. Now, here's what we do know. Like other 747s, Air Force One has three levels, but it is equipped to act as a traveling office for the president, their staff, family, and the White House press corps. Its interior has 4,000 square feet of floor space, which is about 1,219 meters. I counted. <laughs> the lowest level is used for cargo space, while the top level is mostly comprised of the plane's advanced communications equipment. The middle level is where the passengers ride, and this includes the president's living quarters, an office, as well as an exercise room. Hmm. Well, there's also a conference room that doubles as a dining room, the cockpit, a medical suite with an extensive pharmacy, office areas, quarters for staff, the press area, and two galleys. Wow. These hold as many as 2,000 meals and are capable of feeding up to 100 people at a time, which is perfect since the plane can carry up to 70 passengers and 26 crew members. And let me tell you, Jonathan, the President's Ride is pimped out more than anything exhibits ever worked on. It has four, count them, four General Electric CF680C2 B1 jet engines that give it a top speed between 630 and 700 miles per hour. With a full tank of 53,611 gallons of fuel, this means Air Force One can fly halfway around the world gassing up. Now, unlike other 747s, this one has retractable stairways and its own baggage loader, so it doesn't even require airport facilities. Air Force One has numerous onboard telephones, radios, televisions, computer connections, and uh, ooh, fax machines. Whoa. I know. Whoa. Yeah. And you can bet that the Wi-Fi is a lot better than your last commercial flight, too. Now, beyond that, the plane's advanced avionics and defenses are classified. But it's definitely designed to withstand an air assault, or jam enemy radar, or eject flares to confuse heat-seeking missiles. I mean, maybe it even has awesome turrets like the Millennium Falcon, so the president can be all like, pew, 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 on any incoming TIE fighters. You know, uh, great, don't get cocky, boy. Woo, pew, 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 pew. Yeah, probably not. But could the Millennium Falcon refuel mid-flight? Because Air Force One can. In fact, 
it can stay in the air indefinitely as long as other planes keep bringing thousands of gallons of jet fuel to feed it. And Air Force One isn't the only aircraft to accompany the president. Two C-5 Galaxy planes tag along, carrying limousines, secret service agents, and a special ambulance. Also, an advanced C-141 Starlifter cargo carrier flies ahead of the president to deliver his or her motorcade. Thank you for that. Mm. All of these vehicles are maintained by the Presidential Airlift Group, which classifies every flight as a military mission. All crew members are military personnel operating with high security. Even those who prepare meals aboard Air Force One have to purchase the food undercover from random locations. Now, as awesome as these planes are, the current 747s serving the White House have been in operation since 1990, and it's about time for an upgrade. So the Air Force is planning on getting three new aircraft delivered for 2017, 2019, and 2021. After a chance to bid for contract, Boeing is once again the company commissioned to build the new planes, and they're considering either a 747-8 or a 787 as models for the design. To keep up its reputation as a flying base for one of the most powerful men, or women, Thank in you. the world, Boeing better come up with something pretty swank for POTUS to ride around in. Maybe laser turrets, you know, pew, 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 pew. It's not gonna happen. Let us know in the comments below how you would trick out Air Force One if you were the president. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, hit that subscribe button, share it with everybody you know. Including the president. Yeah. For real. Right? Yeah. yeah.